Futures contracts have a limited lifespan. When you trade futures, you need to be aware of expiration dates, as this will influence the outcome of the trades and your exit strategy. There are two expiration-related terms that are particularly important. First is expiration, and the second is rollover. A contract's expiration date is the last day that a trader can trade that contract. This can occur on the third Friday of the expiration month, but varies by contract. Prior to expiration, a futures trader has three options. Offset the position to fully close out the trade, roll the contract from the current or forward month to a future expiration date, or to let the contract expire and take delivery. Offsetting or liquidating a position is the simplest and most common method of exiting a trade. When offsetting a position, a trader is able to realize all profits or losses associated with that position without taking physical or cash delivery on the asset. To offset a position, a trader must make an opposite and equal transaction to offset the trade. For example, a trader who is short two contracts of WTI crude oil expiring in September will need to buy two contracts of WTI crude oil expiring on the same date. The difference in price between his initial positions and the offset positions will represent the profit or loss on the trade. Rollover is when a trader moves his position from the front month contract to a month further out in the future. Traders will determine when they need to move the new contract by watching the volume of both the expiring contract and the next expiring contract month. A trader who decides to roll their position may do so at any time before expiration, but can risk much lower liquidity as expiration nears. For example, a trader who is long four contracts of the E-mini S&P 500 expiring in September will simultaneously sell four September ES contracts and buy four December ES contracts. If a trader has an offset or rolled his position prior to contract expiration, the contract will expire and proceed to settlement. At this point, a trader with a short position will be obligated to deliver the underlying asset under the terms of the original contract. In some markets, this will take the form of physical delivery, and in other markets, will be settled through a cash delivery. You have choices when it comes to expiration with your futures positions. Understanding your options for managing expiration is an important aspect of managing your trading account.